hello soldiers welcome back to our youtube channel in this video we are going to solve alma betters module 2 that is analytics frameworks so we are going to solve our assignment from sql so this assignment is 1 and 2 sql assignment so yeah so these questions are asked from class 1 and class 2 that's why 1 and 2 assignment so question 1 written the customer ids of customers <clears throat> who have spent at least 110 us dollars with the staff member who has an id of 2 and second question is how many films begin with the letter j and third question is what customer has the highest customer id number whose name starts with an e and has an address id lower than 500 so in our first question they are asking written customers customer id so who have at least spend around this much so yeah that is 110 us dollars and and the staff and the staff member whose id is 2 so we'll see that in second question so we have to query the films whose like whose first letter is j okay uh, in third question what customer has the highest customer id number whose name starts with an e so uh, we need to get the customer who has highest id and whose name starts with e and and as address id lower than this much so we have to query those results so yeah what you need to do how you need to submit this assignment means you just have to uh, get this query you can just copy this thing and you can just create a new text cell here you just need to paste that and you can just also paste uh, output then just click on share here you just uh, give evaluator at the right al alphabet that thing and you can just copy this link and you can just submit this link in uh, submission portal so that's what uh, so here you can see here in question one we have to uh, get the customers who have at least spent this much right so their the amount will be in payment table right so that's what we are doing and with the staff member who has this id so what i'm doing here i'm using group by along with having so what i'm doing i'm just going to select customer id and sum of amount from payment table here where staff id equals to 2 because uh, here you can see in payment table we are having staff id and we want staff member who has id 2 so that's why staff id equals to 2 here we are just group grouping by uh, customer id along with staff id so here what we are doing whose uh, sum of amount greater than or equals to 110 so who have at least spent 110 right that's why greater than or equal to 110 then order by customer id so let's run this thing i'm just going to select uh, this particular thing as you can see so we got the result question 2 how many films begin with the letter j so as you learned in class for this type of things we can use like like function right so i'm just going to run this thing here select count title from film so as you can see these many like 20 films starts with the letter j 
how many films they asked okay which films they did not ask so if they asked uh, films you can just uh, remove count just going to run this thing again so as you can see the output okay uh, here question 3 what customer has a highest customer ID number whose name starts with an E and has an address ID lower than 500 so here you need to keep uh, keep two things so here customer ID we got from customer then here like whose name starts with E right so first name like here E then here we are using group by on customer ID then we are using having address ID less than 500 and then we are just order by customer ID in descending order so let's run this thing you'll get an idea so these are the customer IDs right what customer has the customer ID number whose uh, name starts with means uh, these are the customer IDs whose name starts with uh, E and as a address ID lower than this thing okay uh, to check those things also you can just uh, first name first underscore name then I'm also going to show you address ID okay uh, let me run this thing so customer ID so these all first name starts with E right and address ID lower than 500 I think uh, uh, there is no thumb rule that you have to do like this only we can just take guidance from these things and you can just implement your stuff okay no need to do like this only okay you can do your stuff and if you have any doubts you can just uh, mention them in the comment section below I'll try to answer them okay uh, importing uh, importing the data into this PG admin and all those stuff so I've uploaded SQL tutorials uh, there you can just learn few things okay uh, and that's it for now if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and meet you next video till then bye bye